This is Ritesh Srinivasan. Lama 2 was recently released and also got access to Lama 2. So I thought I will make a demo using Lama 2 using free Google Collab. On free Google Collab, I can run the Lama 2 7 billion parameter model okay, using Hugging Face. Right? And I'll also be using Langchain over here to do two tasks. One is text summarization. And the second one is named entity recognition. Okay, so here uh, first things which I need to do over here is that I have to actually apply for the Llama model on Meta. Okay, so basically uh, I have to actually go to um, you know this blog, Llama to blog, right? And then I had to actually if you go over here download the model, right? Go there, fill this form, right? I need to get access to the models. Once I get that, this took around an hour or something. Then on Hugging Face, there is this blog which says about Llama 2 is here. From there, I can click on the you know the repository, right? And this is the repository which opens up. Okay. Now again in this repository, what I need to do is I need to go a particular model over here any model it could be and here actually I have to get access right so here when I re request for access right I have to do it from the same mail ID right the same mail ID which I have mentioned over here my hugging face account should also have the same mail ID if that's the case then within an hour I will get access to the model and it says that I've got access to the model so here there will be an apply page uh, apply uh, this thing button so here you have to apply for access once you have done all these things you would also need a access token to be used within your collab notebook so you can create a token over here you can copy the token and you can do a command line login over here let's go to our um, notebook over here so i install transformers certain libraries over here Okay. I'm not loading the model in say 8 bit or something, but uh, I've installed these libraries over here. And then I do a hugging face command line login. Okay. And here I have to give the access token which I've created. I give that. So once I create this, uh, you know, once I log in over here, it says that token is valid and I would have logged into hugging face. Okay. A sentence piece is not required over here. Okay. From a previous notebook, that's fine. Right now, what I need to do is that from Langchain, I create a, I import Hugging Face Pipeline. From Transformers, I import Auto Tokenizers. I also import Transformers, import Torch. The model over here is Llama 2, 7 billion chat version, okay? which is a fine tuned model of the Llama 2, 7 billion model. Okay? And Tokenizer is Auto Tokenizer from pre trained from this model. Okay? So, this is the repository, okay? path of the repository. Right, and then I create a pipeline text generation, and here the torch uh, basically the precision of the model which I'm going to load over here is float 16. Okay, this is a GPU instance. Okay, and if you look at the resources, uh, this GPU instance has a 15 GB graphics card. Okay, if you have to uh, load this 7 billion parameter model, you would require at least 15 GB graphics card. Okay, so this is the free tier. Lab. So there is 15 GB RAM over here. Okay, and I have already loaded the model, that's why it's completely occupied over here. So I'll not run uh, these things again. So if you see over here, it is downloading the model over here, and then it is, you know, loading the checkpoints. Okay, then what I do is that I create a, a large language model over here for in Langchain by, you know, instantiating Hugging Face pipeline and passing this particular pipeline where I have loaded. Llama 2, uh, you know, Llama 2, 7 billion chat version of the model. Okay. So that model has been loaded, uh, you know, created over here. Okay. Then what I do is that from Langchain, I import a prompt template and LLM chain. So my template is like this write a concise summary of the following text, delimited by triple back codes, return your response in bullet points, which covers the key points of the text. My text would go over here. This is bullet point summary. Right. 
So I then create a prompt template by passing this template and input variable is text. Then I create an LLM chain by passing this prompt and the LLM which I have instantiated over here, which is the Llama 2 7 billion chat. Okay, fine tuned version of Llama 2 7 billion. Okay, and here is a text. Okay, so I just took some text from Meta's Llama initial blog. Okay, and then I say LLM chain run text. So when I run this text, it gives this summary over here. The article discusses Llama, a state of art foundational language model, okay, designed to advance research, and it gives tracing smaller training smaller model like Llama requires less computing power and resources. This is the summary. Okay. Then I try another text. This talks about Tesla. Okay. So and I say LLM chain run text one. Here it gives this particular summary, which is quite good. Right, it says Tesla is an American multinational company and it says you know, these are some of the points in the summary. Okay, so this is based on this particular prompt. Okay, right, so this is the kind of bullet point summary for this text. So it pulls up important information from here and then the uh, it was founded uh, incorporated in July 2003. Uh, so it picks up those points and you know, it creates this bullet point summary. Okay, here is another text. So this is a text of Apple Link, uh, right? Uh, again, pulled up from Wikipedia. And when I run the LLM chain, so this is the results over. Apple is a multinational technology company with US 94.5 revenue. And it pulls out this kind of a summary from this text. Okay, again, I'm impressed with the results over here. So this is for text summarization. I wanted to see if I can use this model for named entity recognition. So I changed my template saying over here, detect named entities in the following text delimited by triple back quotes. Return your response in JSON format with spans of named entities with fields named entity type span. Okay. Return all entities. Then I have the text and JSON format file. Okay. So this is my template. I create a prompt and I again instantiate the LLM chain with this new prompt. Okay. input variable is text so i again try this on this text 2 which is this text on apple right here if you look at it creates a json file okay like this named entity named entity apple link you know type company some span right it is pulled out steve jobs type is person span and then steve wozniak person span right ronald wayne it kind of stops over here. This is because I need to actually modify the, uh, you know, sequence length in the output. So currently it is 1000 over here. I can increase it to 409. Well, right. So once I, you need to play around with those part of, um, you know, the output to see if it can generate the output properly, right. But it has detected named entity, right. So I am trying it on the other text on Tesla. It here the format changes a bit. It says named entity and then it says Tesla Inc. Martinum. So it has pulled out the names over here. And company, person, types. But this is not a proper uh, you know, JSON over here and it goes for a mess over here. So I think we need to play around with the prompt properly. Now change this template a little bit and see how it works. Experiment with this template. And we would also want to, you know, uh, experiment with say uh, other parameters like temperature or you know uh, the pipeline max length for generation right we need to play around with that to see if we can get better results so this is with the 7 billion parameter model i would also want to do the same experiment with say the 13 billion parameter model uh, which would require a bigger gpu instance or say the 70 billion parameter model. okay because we have these uh, you know different uh, models available right 13 billion chat 70 billion chat i would probably want to try it out with these other models also to see the performance but this is with the 7 billion parameter model and it runs on google collab retire so this is a short video on how you can use llama 2 7 billion chat model okay chat llm uh, with lang chain on google collab free tire I hope this video is useful for you. I'll be sharing this particular notebook in the description of the video. You can go and check it out. 
but for that you would require access to these models i've described the process on how you get, can get access to these models so follow it and you should be able to run this particular demo i hope this video is useful for you if you like the video please like share subscribe to the channel see you in another video